Hi, greetings to everyone out there in YouTube land. Greetings to the mystics and the dreamers. My name is Belle. I like to do a tarot reading today, and I'm using new decks of cards or ones that we haven't seen as much recently. I'm really excited. I also have a new microphone, so hopefully you might be able to hear me a little bit better. Um, okay, so I got a gift for Valentine's Day, and the gift was the Joy de Vivre Tarot, Joy of Life. So I'm going to try this one today and see how that goes. I'm also using some other decks of cards. I'll be using the Shadowscapes Tarot. I'll be using the Wildwood Tarot. All of them are really gorgeous. And um, I'm not sure, it's kind of funny, but I do not know how to pronounce French words. So, I don't even know how to say joy de vivre. I don't even think that's right. <laughs> um, it's kind of funny, because I took some French, but it didn't stick. Um, I can't do impressions very well. Like, my husband Joey can um, do a little bit of um, impressions of people or um, do like an, a funny accent or something. And I can't. I can't do impressions or accents. I can't mimic people very well. So I'd be a bad comedian, I guess. Um, okay, well, I guess let's get started <laughs> before I tell any more jokes. Um, I've got my iced Americano here. Keep the energy going. Okay, um, I'm doing four cards from each deck. Um, I don't know. Okay, so the theme for today is going to be cozy wisdom because it's that time of year it's winter and it's time to stay indoors a little bit more than we usually do and um, just have that cozy wisdom maybe do some spiritual reading while it's really cold outside um, okay I guess let's just get started I feel like there's more news but I'm just gonna have to jot down notes about what I want to talk about next time uh, I do want to do some more book reviews at some point but I have to organize that still I think I've been promising book reviews for a while but um, we'll see okay I'm gonna spread out the cards here that I've already shuffled and drawn let's see what we get let's see what we get we're starting with the joie de vivre tarot Okay, the first card is King of Cups. You know what's really interesting about this deck is that I think the King cards are a lot more um, sympathetic. So like this one is really beautiful. The King of Cups. I like his outfit. It kind of seems like he's a nature spirit who's like a heart-centered nature spirit or something like that. Hmm. So that's what I'm going to go with, the heart-centered nature spirit. Maybe that means that you're getting more in touch with some fantastical elements of life that maybe you weren't even sure about before. So I've been reading a lot about nature spirits and different kinds of things like that, and it's stuff that I didn't even um, think could be real. And I don't know if it's, um, well, I still, I still have questions, right, about um, how much of the mythology um, that people talk about is something that people have really experienced um, through shamanic journeys or dream travel. So maybe in some of the book reviews we can explore um, different authors' ideas on stuff like that because I have been reading some books about spirituality recently that are talking about nature spirits and how you can interact with um, spiritual elements of life in a more vivid way and that's like, really fascinating to me because it's something that's still new to me okay let's go to the next card two of wands oh I really like this card she has the world at her fingertips. Um, so you see the... Um, she's kind of like a... Um, a, 
princess or a goddess, and she has the world at her fingertips. Okay, let's go to the third card. Five of Swords. These look like, um, I don't know if the word is harpies or something. Like, they're kind of like, kind of sinister, um, bird-like creatures that are kind of in mythology. They look kind of forlorn, kind of scary. Five of Swords. It's kind of like, it's, it's kind of like if you were going for a hike or going for a walk in the forest and you see a couple of different paths in front of you and one of the paths is blocked by these harpies and you're like, you know what, I'm not going to go that way. <laughs> it seems like they're kind of blocking the path, um, kind of imposing figures. Okay, and the fourth card from this deck is Page of Wands. This is like an announcement or a celebration. An announcement of a celebration, perhaps. Hmm. So I'm going to leave these cards out, and let's go on to the other cards, but um, we'll see if any of them relate in different ways. Okay, so next is Shadowscape's Tarot. The first card is Five of Wands. This card is kind of interesting. It's a little bit of chaos, um, because you have the foxes running all over the place and you actually have the foxes looking in the different direction from the man there the man is going in the opposite direction so that kind of seems like disorder or chaos the second card is the lovers it's really nice it's really good to think about partnerships whether that's a romantic partnership in this case or a different kind of partnership you have that really works well for you in your life. The third card is Nine of Pentacles. This is a lovely lady playing a piano that's connected to a tree. And that's just a really beautiful scene. There's actually even a, um, oh, what is it called? There's a stained glass window there as well. It's just so beautiful. I think this is reminding us of the beauty of life, reminding us of all the gorgeous elements of life that make it worthwhile and make life vibrant and fun. The fourth card is Five of Pentacles. This looks like um, this figure, it looks like a woman is a little bit sad or forlorn it's like she doesn't see the beautiful possibilities that are offered by this part of the card because she's too, too much looking down. It's really interesting. Hmm. A lot of different themes and elements coming through. Now let's go to the Wildwood Tarot. Sometimes I have trouble interpreting the cards from the Wildwood Tarot. Um, but let's see how it goes today. Oh, the wheel. The wheel looks like it is about, in this card, it's uh, about weaving life, uh, weaving the strands of life into something that makes sense. So something that is, um, you could say, something, that's, something that is supportive. Wow, that's interesting. This card has been showing up, not this card, but this animal, the lynx been showing up recently. I saw it on Pinterest the other day, and I hadn't paid much attention to this animal animal before. Excuse me, I'm having trouble talking. <laughs> I have had too much caffeine today. Um, this is the Page of Stones, represented by the lynx. Uh, what strikes me about this animal um, is that it's kind of like um, the way that the lynx has the whiskers and um, kind of a little funny beard there or something with those ears too. It's almost like you can think of like the Chronicles of Narnia where all the animals talk and stuff like that. You almost feel like the lynx has something to say to you, like a message or something because there's almost some wisdom there or something. Um, 
or you know like Alice in Wonderland with the Cheshire Cat or something like that it's pretty interesting okay the third card is five of bows empowerment empowerment is a really cool word to me uh, looks like a caveman drawing or something the word is empowerment that is one of my favorite words one of my favorite um, themes because I feel like uh, I want to live in a world where everyone empowers each other to live up to their highest good or just whatever is right for them. Um, so that is really positive. I'm really glad that we got the empowerment card. I'm not sure how the picture depicts empowerment, but it just has that message there at the bottom. And the fourth card is Eight of Arrows, Struggle. Yeah, you can definitely tell. It's kind of interesting, I was talking about the coziness of winter, but this is the other side of winter, the struggle to keep your hopes up, keep your spirits up when the it's kind of a long journey still. That's interesting, I'm going to look at an overview of these cards. <clears throat> so we had, I'll just do a quick um, review. We had these two cards, King of Cups and Two of Wands. Those are about nature spirits and the world at your fingertips. And then we had the harpies. I hope I'm getting that name right. We had the harpies that are kind of blocking the path. We had the card that's uh, announcing the celebration. And then we have the chaos and disorder card. And the lovers card, which is about different types of partnerships. We have this beautiful card reminding us about the good things in life. And then we have a little bit of a sorrow card. And then we have this like animal wisdom and this weaving life together. And we have empowerment and struggle right there. Great, thank you so much for tuning in today for the tarot reading. Um, check out some more tarot videos if you haven't yet. Um, you can watch them at any time. I'm kind of making them as available inspiration that is not connected with a certain date or a certain time. Um, thank you very much, and I hope to see you next time.